Well, hey folks, welcome back. We're coming in on the end of the game here, getting pretty close of Civil War Secret Missions. This is Level 9, Captain Blazer's Scouts. Let's listen to the intro and learn a little bit about Captain Blazer and his scouts, because they were really an interesting unit. Richard Blazer was 32 years old when the war began, with few impressive credentials and no military experience. Despite his unimpressive background, he quickly rose to prominence in General Grant's army. Blazer was sloppy in his military dress and drilled his men haphazardly. Nevertheless, by the spring of 1864, Blazer and his men had already participated in a number of daring raids. In May of that year, Union forces under the command of George Crook were intent on destroying the Virginia and Tennessee Railroad. A diversion was needed to fool the enemy into thinking the attack would come elsewhere. Blazer's elite command snuck into Lewisburg at night. Their mission was to sabotage as many artillery positions as they could find. It was critical they make the enemy believe this was the target of the enemy attack. There's no turning back now, men. The Army of the Tennessee is about to punch through Pemberton's lines and send a message to the whole Confederate Army. Well, he's distracted. General Grant wants us to find that Reb spy and get back some important documents. As we heard, he was holed up somewhere near the council. Now let's move. Oh, one more thing, men. Yesterday, our spies in Richmond learned that Pemberton was able to send a message out of the city. We need to find the source of the communication and stop it. Permanently. It's vital that we retrieve those documents. We feel many of our men out there will pay in blood for this. Show no mercy because no mercy will be granted to you. Watch out! Move! Move! Boy, that's quite a long intro for one of these games. All right. Let's clear these guys out. We've clearly just landed on it with an ironclad. We've got to work our way in. We've got ourselves a new weapon in this level, a new pistol. This is a neat little thing. This is the Remington Pistol Model 1858. Uh, if you want to get technical, the full name is the Remington Beals Model Revolver Series. Uh, it's a percussion revolver uh, developed by Remington and Sons. Available in three calibers, 31 caliber in the pocket model, the 36 caliber in the Navy model, or 44 caliber, which is the Army model. That's the one we've got right here. And it, as you can already see, is a very effective weapon in this game. I like this thing very much. Reloads pretty quick, high damage. Stay close. You can see it's a uh, single action since the character is thumbing the hammer back every time, but it uh, doesn't seem to affect its operation very much. And then our other weapon is a Spencer rifle, which is, of course, uh, extremely effective with this uh, damage amplification. So the Remington revolvers were uh, used quite a bit in the American Civil War as the beginning of a very successful line of medium and large frame pistols. Uh, it's commonly, though, inaccurately referred to as the Model 1858 because that's what the patent marking on the cylinder says. Hold on, we're going to revive this guy. We have three soldiers to revive in this level. So people think it's called the Model 1858 because it says patented 1858 stamped into the cylinder so you see why people might think that and i think you can even see that stamp there on the edge of the uh the cylinder there on the back side of the gun there on the left all right here we have a shootout this is great the game's really finally ramping it up a little bit we've got some urban combat we've got exploding barrels we've got guys hiding behind destructible cover why didn't they open with something like this well, I probably know why they didn't open with something like this, because if this game didn't look like a Call of Duty game before, it sure does now. Okay. So we got some bad guys to clear out here. They're just going to keep on spawning in. I've got plenty of grenades. This level really rewards grenade use, but I think it makes the level pretty uninteresting, so I'm not going to use them too much. So, anyway, confusingly enough, 
These pistols tended to be stamped with patented 1858 Remington and Sons, New York, USA, uh, though production of this pistol didn't begin until 1861. So... You, you can see how that could be a little confusing. Uh, in any case, it was uh, th this this pistol, the Remington Revolver. It was a secondary, uh, kind of supplemental issue firearm for the Union Army until the Colt Factory Fire in 1864. Uh, due to the fire, the Colt 1860 Army, the gun from earlier levels there, it wasn't available for quite a while. Uh, and so, as a result of that, large numbers of the Remington Revolver were ordered by the U.S. government. It was more expensive. It was about 50 cents more expensive. That doesn't sound like much, but back then that was a difference of around $12 in uh, in modern modern dollars, uh, 12 American dollars. Uh, and when you're ordering hundreds of thousands of these things, that, that adds up quite a bit. Uh, however, the people who could afford it, and many people could, uh, were big fans. They remarked that it was an extremely durable pistol. After the Civil War, uh, the Remington pistols saw a lot of use in the American West, uh, both in the percussion configuration, which is what we're using right here, uh, and then also as a metallic cartridge conversion, so it could uh, it could fire bullets after a while. Uh, and that model became popular all around the world. Holds six shots, pretty pretty classic six shooter. When you see it from the side, it's it's got a very Old West shape. It's a very triangular pistol, very wide at the base and then tapering down because this model, being a percussion version, uh, has that great big lever on the underside of the barrel that allows you to pack your own cylinders. I don't know. I, I assume these are pictures of the developers or something here. All right, we're going to try to revive this guy. Wonderful. That's two down. Saved me. Thank you. These guys you saved, they never help you. They just hightail it on out of there. Okay, they're gonna spawn a lot of guys, and look at this, it's our old pal, the Pepper Box Revolver. And something wrong. a very strange repeating weapon here. For the first time, we have a weapon that doesn't have infinite ammunition. If you look at that bar, the way it's going along there, it's uh, it's clearly not ammunition, it's heat. It's it's beginning to overheat, which nothing else has, uh, has done so far. And then once it overheats, it's done. But that's okay. This is not a very fun game when you sit on a mounted weapon all the time. So we're gonna creep our way in. We're gonna try to, uh-oh, I just lost my cover. Okay, we're gonna. Oh. Okay, even with the extra health, this uh, this one starts getting getting tricky. And I like this. This really ramps up the activity, lets you play a little more. I mean, it really does become a cover shooter, though, doesn't it? It's very very Call of Duty, very very over the top, and probably not at all like a real Civil War battle would have played out, but it's certainly more engaging than some of the other levels we've played so far. So, we're going to try to revive this guy again. He's got a different model this time, and we're seeing that uh, that failure to engage the F key again. But we got it. So, we'll try to soften these guys up a little bit. I've got my upgraded regen, I've got my, uh, my upgraded damage, so I'm pretty nicely set up to, uh, well to battle with these guys. I'm still not sure what the deal with this thing is. I've seen this before, but, uh, it, it doesn't, I don't quite recall what this is. I don't, if anything, it looks like a puckle gun to me. But I'm sure no one in the American Civil War was using a puckle gun. It's be... 150 years too late for that. Maybe 100 years too late for that. Anyway, you see, we've got guys hiding. We, they gave us plenty of ammo to work with here. We've got, uh, got a full stack of ammo for our weapons. We've got grenades all over the place, so may as well use them. I want to see you fight. We'll work our way up there. Keep going, man. It's a little tricky to get through the... Barricade. There we go. 
Okay, let's just clear these guys out. Oh, boy. I seem to have the most physics fun with the Spencer. Oh, oh. Okay, maybe... Maybe the pepper box is the new... New wacky physics gun. Good lord. Amazingly enough, the pepper box revolver, this, this style of gun, goes all the way back to the 1830s. Uh, the, uh... The idea of multiple barrels rather than... Uh, multiple chambers. Many countries have versions of these going all the way back into uh, match lock and even wheel lock versions. There's some beautiful old examples of Swedish pepper box style pistols. Here we go. Got some more urban combat. Guys start popping in from all over the place. So we're just going to run in here. We're going to clear them out as best we can. I think the game expects that you've got some points invested in extra health, extra damage uh, by this point because they're really trying to ramp up the difficulty and I think they did a great job with it. This is much more engaging than some of the other levels. So you've got guys in here, you've got guys on the upper levels shooting down at you, and you've got guys in the windows shooting in at you. So you've got quite a lot to worry about. So let's go take care of some of them. All right. And there's another one in here. Huh. Uh... Hmm. Okay, alright. That's, that's fine. Probably just missed. Let's get him. Huh. Alright. Oh boy. You know, game, I'm trying to compliment you, and then you do this. Excellent, soldier. Anyway, pepper box revolver. Real interesting piece of, uh, piece of equipment, historically. Oh boy, oh boy. That guy was trying to melee me. He's got a sharps rifle. This game, every time you pick up a sharps rifle, it's got one bullet, though. Look at this. Maybe we'll try something else. Henry, here we go. Okay, we've got a room to clear out right up ahead. They're all gonna spawn in at the same time. There they all are. So let's clear them out. Okay, got three. Uh... Uh, uh, oh. I'm, I'm noticing... I'm noticing some hitbox issues with this level. That's okay, though. It's fun. It's a low-budget title. Can't expect too much. All right, here we go. Let's just start hucking grenades. That's the way to clear a room out. We've got boxes of grenades over here in the corner. Ammo boxes. The ammo boxes in this game give you ammo for your gun and your grenades, by the way. So they're... They're rewarding us for, for just playing Grenadier. Here we go. Get some of these. Let's see if our phantom window is still giving us trouble. Someone's still in here. Oh, jeez. There we go. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Maybe they went around. They don't always stand there in the window. I appreciate that. There's enough AI in here that the enemy doesn't always do the same thing. Nice. Nice. Okay, here's that place that messed us up last time. Seems to be some clipping problems with these barrels, so let's just clear them all out with grenades. Oh. Boy, that physics, huh? Okay, Spencer rifle on the ground. We've already got a Spencer rifle. There's more ammunition. I think they knew that the player was was getting frustrated at this point and wanted to just throw bombs and fire like mad. 
This is a neat little arena. I like this very much. A little firefight in a graveyard. Guys are running at you. They can hide behind multiple different headstones. And there's a Gatling gun out there firing on you. This, this is, this is well thought out. And I'm sitting on another box of ammunition, so I am free to just shoot and throw. My buddy here is very excited. I think, I think my pal here is, uh, is actually Richard Blazer himself of the, uh, of the Blazer Scouts. I, th I think he's invincible. There we go. All right, we got a Gatling gun over there. Remember, our mission for this, uh, for this level is to find a confederate who stole some secret documents and get them back. So we are fighting our way into the heart of this city to get these plans, and then we're going to have to try to find our way back out. All right, there's one down. Might be a guy hiding over there. Let's take a look. Good. All cleared out. Looks great. What a nice level. That's it. We have the documents. Now comes the hard part. We need to get this information back to the general. Let's go. All right, we got to fight our way back out of the city. Nope, joke's on you. Level's over. 72 dead. 62% accuracy. Uh, and I found all the soldiers, so I got some bonus objectives. If this were your first playthrough, you'd be getting uh, the, the awards, the points to spend. But since I've already beat this level, uh, you don't see anything happening here. So there you go. Level nine. They're really kind of ramping it up. They're, uh, they're trying to do a little bit better here. So this one was a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned. We'll get another video up real soon. But this weekend, I just found out that nearby is a Civil War reenactment. So I'm going to try to get over there and see if I can generate a little bit of content at that thing. So this is the video for this weekend, and I will see you all next time. Bye now.